Silly willy bullies a million miles away When I had a little mind that I needed them to stay But I don't now, cause I'm on my dad, I'm a grown up boy Saving all my money, gonna buy myself a new toy to project to the bottom Hey guys, it's Josh Roseed. Today what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna show you how to create an awesome lens flare in Photoshop. This is something that you can add to any of your pictures when you get stumped and it'll make your images look really cool. So let's go ahead and get started here. First of all, a few of the tools we're gonna to be using are the pen tool and the brush tool. So really simple, go to your pen tool, so hit P on the keyboard, and what we're gonna do is create a layer above this blank layer and just call it lens, lens flare original. So originally when I created this image, to me, it seemed not boring, but it was missing something, and that's why I added um, some flares, some lens flares. I also added some lights over here. This isn't the completed image. For now, all we're going to be doing is doing is adding the lens flares. So this is what we're going to be doing right here, creating something similar to that. And this is, you know, we're manually creating this so you can pretty much move it wherever you want. So all right, go to your blank layer, go to your pen tool. First thing you're going to do is click off screen wherever you want the lens flare to come from and then you want to click a point over here. Now just for reference, we're going to hold down shift and click over here, okay? So that's going to create a straight line, a perfectly straight line. So now you're going to go right underneath there and hold down oops, hold down command and bring that point down a little bit. So what you want to do here is create a triangle, a really thin triangle just like that. So you're going to click over there and then combine those. And this is going to be the base for all of our lens flares. So now right click inside there and go make selection. And you can go to your brush and pick a color that's sort of a light blue because we're going to be doing just a blue flare for this tutorial. Okay, So with opacity at 100% with your brush just paint in side of that okay now what we're going to do we have that color what we want to do is create a blank layer above there and just call it light flare what you're going to do is pick a lighter color something like this and paint in right there so it's almost white but not really okay all right so now you have your light flare and i'm going to go command d to deselect that you have your light flare and your dark flare so with the light flare, you want to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to hit Command T and just bring that in a little bit and then sort of match this up. So hit Command T again and you want this to be sort of in the middle of that lens flare right there. So that looks pretty good and you can see the difference before and after. So now go down to your original layer that you created. Hold down Option or Alt and create another layer beneath that. And what you're going to do is the same thing, resize it. So hit Command T, but this time it's going to be bigger. So you want to resize it and sort of get it to where it's matching where the other flares are in the middle here. Okay. Now what I want to do is turn down the opacity a little bit because that's looking a little too harsh. Something like that. Perfect. Okay, and now you're going to make one more layer for this lens flare. So go back to your original. Hold on Option or Alt and copy that layer. Same thing, Command T, and make it a little bit bigger, but not as big as the last one. And then you're just going to line this up. Something like that. I need to turn that a little bit. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. All right, now that you have all the layers, we have four layers here. Go to your bottom layer, and you're going to blur that a little bit. So go Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And I usually go to around 50 or something like that, 48, 50, and hit OK. So same thing with the second layer, but you're not going to blur it as much. So blur, Gaussian blur, and maybe down to 20%. And then same thing up here, filter blur, Gaussian blur, maybe a little bit less, 12%. And then the last flare, same thing. Blur, Gaussian Blur, and a little bit less. Okay, something like that. All right, so it's already looking a lot better than what it did, but it's still not blending in too much with this picture. So now what you need to do is add blending modes. Now this is super simple, just click on the image, we're gonna go to overlay blending mode. So the reason I picked this is because it keeps the texture, it doesn't really fog anything, 
it keeps the texture of the background. So if you can see here, when I'm on just an original, you know, I don't have any blending mode on that. It's sort of blurring and fogging. You can't really, you're losing detail back here. But when I go to an overlay blending mode, you're getting a lot of the detail there, but you can still get the color, which is really nice. You can see before and after right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to make a fifth layer because I want it to be a little bit more intense. Just like that, okay? Alright, and now I'm going to do the same thing with these other layers. Make them overlay blending modes. And then the top one, just like that. You know what, on the top one, because it's, I want it to be sort of really bright and defined like that but I'm also wanting it not to be like crazy defined so I'm just going to turn down the opacity just a little bit something like that okay so there you go guys that is how you create a, a lens flare and it's super simple now what you can do is play around with this lens flare so what I can do is hold down shift and click top and the bottom so I select everything and copy all those so hold down option or alt and then I'm just going to move these around a little bit. So maybe I'm going to add a little flare over here. I'm holding down Option or Alt and just grabbing these just like that. Then what you can do is hold down Command T and make these a lot bigger if you want. Um, you know, change, maybe make sure their direction's correct on these. Like they're not too slanted. You know, you can turn down the opacity on some of these, turn it up. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that you can do with these, but that is the basic lens flare right there. Um, also, to change colors, you can work with hue and saturation. Something else you can do is just grab everything together and merge it. So, let's say we already have a copy or whatever, and we're merging this. You can merge them all and make an overlay and those will be even more blurred and sort of cool looking you know you can double that layer turn it down I mean there's there's so much you can do with these that is the basic to creating the lens flare so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and look out for more free tutorials and I'll see you guys soon